In this video, we're going to have a look at some of the biggest gaming announcements from WWDC 21. Metal version 2.4 is the next release of Apple's own graphics and shader API. It will be supported under macOS Monterey, iOS 15, iPadOS 15, and tvOS 15. This new version includes a new metal texture compression tool to support all the latest formats, as well as optimized formats for Apple Silicon. This means now, more than ever, it's easier for developers to bring high-end games to all of Apple's platforms. The Apple Metal Engineering team showcased three games that they collaborated on with Larian Studios and 4A Games. Baldur's Gate 3 and Metro Exodus on Mac for their modern AAA experiences and cinematic visual effects, and Affinity Original Sin 2 for iPad as a demonstration of high-end gaming on a portable GPU. New APIs have been added to ray tracing on Mac. This next-gen technology brings realistic lighting, shadows, and effects to games, making them even more immersive and visually impressive. It was first shown at WWDC 2019, but no developers have actually utilized it in their games yet. While this is still the case in 2021, the hope is that these new APIs will make it easier for developers to create hybrid ray tracing cases where typical render passes coexist with ray traced results. Apple also thoroughly documented and explained EDR. Apple refers to EDR as both a HDR representation and the HDR rendering technology used on Apple platforms. EDR is only capable on the latest Apple products, and only a few games support it, being Baldur's Gate 3, Divinity Original Sin 2, and Shadow of the Tomb Raider. EDR allows for developers to create more realistic and exciting experiences by having access to more bright details. The WWDC session explained details of EDR on modern Apple devices, iOS, macOS, tvOS, and hopefully this will allow more developers to easily add HDR support to their games. macOS Monterey adds support for adaptive sync displays. Games can now take advantage of ultra-low latency and variable refresh rate displays on Mac. It eliminates screen tearing, stuttering, and judder. In-app events are coming to the App Store this fall. While some games already hold their own in-game events, you'll now see them shown directly on the App Store from personalized recommendations, editorial selections, search results, and on App Store product pages. Apple's Game Controller framework supports the most popular game controllers out there, including support for next-gen controllers with haptic support and coming soon, DualSense adaptive triggers as well. A new API has been added for developers to bring their controller-supported games to iPhone and iPad with an on-screen virtual game controller, made possible with only a few lines of code. Lastly, in macOS Monterey and iPadOS 15, gamers can find the games their friends are playing, directly navigate the app library to launch a game, and then hit the share button to record their screen. All this without even putting down your controller. In iOS 15, iPadOS 15, and macOS Monterey, Replay Kit has a great new update. In-app clip recordings. You can now screen record a rolling buffer when playing a game. In other words, immediately grab the last 15 seconds and save it as a clip. Not only this, there is also an API to automatically trigger captures for highlights in developers' games. Test Flight has been available on iPhone, iPad, and Apple TV for a while. It allows you to test a beta version of a game via an email or public link invitation from a developer. Devs can collect valuable feedback and analyze their app before they distribute it to the App Store. Now, 
Test Flight is coming to Mac. Test Flight on Mac provides all the same features as found on other platforms and will support Mac apps and iOS apps only on Apple Silicon based Macs. Every year, Apple loves to recognize developers around the world for the amazing work they produce on Apple products. This year is a little different with one app and one game recognized across six new award categories. We're just going to have a look at the games. Inclusivity. Winner of this category has provided an experience that everyone can enjoy. Background, ability and language are not to be a barrier. Apple Design Award winner for inclusivity, Hollow Vista by Echo Knight. Delight and Fun. Winner of this category has provided memorable, engaging, and satisfying experiences that have been enhanced by specific Apple technologies. Apple Design Award winner for Delight and Fun, Little Orpheus by The Chinese Room. Interaction. Winner of this category excelled with intuitive interfaces and great controls that are perfectly tailored to their respective platform. Apple Design Award winner for Interaction, Bird Alone by George Batchelor. Social Impact. Winner of this category is on a mission to improve lives in a meaningful way and shine light on crucial issues. Apple Design Award winner for Social Impact, Alba by Ustway Games. With every copy of the game downloaded, one tree will be planted in Madagascar as a part of a reforestation project. Visuals and Graphics Winner of this category pushes the possibilities of graphics on Apple GPUs. Apple Design Award winner for Visuals and Graphics, Genshin Impact by MiHoYo Limited. Innovation Winner of this category provides a state-of-the-art experience through novel use of Apple technologies that sets them apart in their genre. Apple Design Award winner for innovation, League of Legends Wild Rift by Riot Games. Apple offers the best augmented reality platform out there and now it's going to be even better with AR Kit 5 and Reality Kit 2. These frameworks allow developers to create immersive AR experiences. We now have better support for custom systems, animation, object capture, reality composer, face tracking and motion capture, location anchors, greater visual fidelity, customized render passes and dynamic shaders, real world object interaction, physics, 3D rendering and cameras and lighting to name a few. On iPadOS 15 and iOS 15 on the home screen, there are new Game Center powered widgets for Friends Are Playing and Continue Playing. Apple has also added a new Friend Request inbox and you can now receive Friend Requests on macOS. A key part of gaming is the audio. Just like films, it can make or break the gaming experience. A technique to help with audio is Geometry Aware Audio to enhance complex, interactive and immersive audio scenes for games. Apple has put together a new API for spatial audio that they are calling Physical Audio Spatialization Engine. This API allows for developers to keep sounds aligned to the core experience throughout your gameplay session and helps to create spatial soundscapes and scenes during the development process instead of during post-production. Our last update is SharePlay and how it can be used for gaming. SharePlay includes screen sharing. You can use it to share your screen and the game you're playing with others in real time. What do you think about these gaming announcements from WWDC 21? What are you most looking forward to trying out? Or what have you been most impressed by? Let me know in the comments. I'll hopefully upload a video soon about games announced for Apple platforms from E3 2021. So stay tuned by subscribing and turning on notifications. Anyway, my name is Stewie and thanks for watching.